Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, Sudin. So, uh, we will proceed with the second session. So, I will go to slide presentation, all right? So, let's continue our lecture. Okay. So, here, yeah. So, for the second stage, yeah, is the develop project management plan. All right. So, this one is in the initiation stage. Lah. All right. So, the input that you need is the project charter yeah, that you have from the planning process. Yeah. In the planning process, uh, yeah, develop a project charter. So, that will be the input for the second stage. Lah. Yeah. In, in the initiation stage, you need project charter. All right. And then uh, output from the planning process. Okay. And then number three is the enterpri enterprise environmental factor. Yeah. So to develop a project management plan, you have to consider the project uh, enterprise environmental factor. Okay. And then number four is the organizational uh, process asset. Okay. All right, this one is explained already here uh, in the, uh, in the uh, first session. All right. Okay, and then the tools and technique that you need is the expert judgment. All right, the expert. So you need the, the expert, yeah, to, to do, to develop a project management plan. Okay, so the output is the project management plan itself. Yeah, so what is the meaning of the project management plan? Okay, project management plan is the baseline, yeah, for the scope, yeah, schedule and cost. Okay, so usually you come out with the uh, S curve, yeah. So we have uh we can use the project management plan yeah to control uh our uh project lah, yeah the, the progress of our project yeah so usually we you will come out with the uh S curve yeah so one for the finance uh, uh for the finance yeah uh, the cost of the project Another one is uh, the schedule, uh, the, the activity. Yeah? Okay, so that is the baseline lah. you can refer in a, in a project management plan. All right, the schedule. Okay, so you can monitor your project. Lah. All right, based on the project management plan. Okay, and then number three is uh, in... Num number three is the uh, project execution uh, in the execution uh, stage, meaning that the implementation stage. Okay, so you need to direct and manage a project execution. All right, so the input that you need is the project management plan. All right, number one, okay. So number two is the approved change request. Okay, so uh, in the implementation process, okay, so sometime you're going to have the change request. Change request meaning that the client or the client or the project team need the additional or alteration yeah, on the project uh, activities, yeah, to make sure the deliverable uh, of the project, lah, yeah. So you need to have the approved change request, yeah. All right, and then number meaning that meaning that all the requests, the change requests, need to be approved, yeah, in the meeting, okay. Approved by the client and also the team, uh, the project team, lah. Okay, and then third is the when you direct and 
finish the project execution, you need to consider the enterprise environmental factor. All right. And then number four, you need to you need to have the organizational process asset. Yeah. So uh, I did explain also this one in the first session. Okay, you can refer. All right. And the tools and techniques that you need. Yeah. To direct and manage your project execution is number one is the expert judgment. Okay. You need an expert. Yeah. To do it. All right. Number two is the project management information system. Okay. What is the project management information system? Right. So the project information, uh, project management information system is typically is the software, yeah? software application or the method process yeah? to collect the information uh, uh, regarding the project. Lah, yeah? So by example, the software that you need to monitor a project. Yeah? during the implementation stage. Yeah, by example, the Microsoft project. Yeah, Primavera. Yeah. So that is the uh, project information, uh, management information system lah, that you need yeah, to direct and manage your project execution. Okay, and the output is the deliverables. Lah, yeah, what you need to deliver for your project. Yeah, the products. Yeah. And then number two is work uh, performance information. Okay, so the information, the progress, uh, the progress, uh, the, the project progress lah, yeah, the information. Okay, and then the output, and then the output that you get uh, in the uh, execution stage, yeah is the change request lah, yeah. Okay, number four is the project uh, management uh, plan updates. Okay, so in an implementation stage, you you can have the project management plan updates lah, yeah. And also the project document updates. Okay, so when you change your, uh, you, you have a change request, okay. So you have to update also your, your document, lah. all right? Okay. <laughs> okay, and then uh, we move to uh, monitoring and control uh, stage, yeah? So for the project integration management process is the monitoring and control project works, okay? So the input that you need is the project management plan, number one. Okay, number two is the uh, performance report, meaning that the progress report yeah, of your project. Yeah. So you need to collect and disseminate yeah, the project information. Lah, yeah. Yeah, from the project report, you can collect the information about your project, the project, the progress yeah, of your project. Okay, so and, and also the forecasting, yeah, uh, future process that you need for your project, yeah. So you can get from the performance report, all right. And then number four is the you need to consider the environmental enterprise environmental factor, lah. Okay, number four you need to con you need to have uh, the organizational uh, process asset, lah. All right. And then the tools and technique that you need is the, again, that is the uh, expert judgment, all right? And the output yeah, that you can have in monitoring and control project works is the change request, lah, first change request. And number two is project management update. Number three is project document updates. So all of the information, yeah? Uh, in project management plan and also the project document you need to update lah when you have the project uh, you have the change request all right and then uh, 
in monitoring and control stage, you need to perform the integrated change control. Okay, the input that you need is the project management plan. Okay, and work number two is work uh, performance information. Lah. Yeah, the, form, the performance of your uh, project, the progress of your project. Okay, number three is the change request. Yeah. So, um, to perform the integrated control change, you need the change request. And also, you need to consider the enterprise environmental factor. And also, you need to have the organizational process asset. Lah. Okay. <coughs> the tool and techniques that you need, first is the expert judgment. Right? So, you need an expert to perform the integrated change control. Right? And number two is change control meeting. Okay, so any changes yeah, that you do for your project, you need to agree in the change control meeting. Yeah. Usually, uh, normally some in the project, you have a site meeting eh, or coordination meeting. Okay, so you can uh, uh, present your control change yeah, during that meeting. Yeah, so if everybody agree, then you can update. Yeah, so the output you can update your change request lah. Yeah, and then update also your uh, project management plan and the project document. All right, and then the last one is the closing stage. Yeah, so close project office. All right. The input that you need is the project management plan. Okay, number two is the accepted deliverable. So you have to know what is the deli uh, accepted deliverable of your project lah. Yeah, okay. What you're going to deliver for the project. Okay, if there's a building project, so um, uh, the deliverable can be the uh, structure itself. Yeah, or the, the roads. Yeah. Okay, so that is the deliverables, lah. Yeah. Okay, and then number three is the the input that you need is the organizational processes uh, asset. Yeah, the tools and technique that you need is again is the expert judgment. Okay, and the output from the uh uh. Uh, project uh, closing stage is the final product or services. Yeah, so it depends on your project itself. Lah. Yeah, and result transition. Okay. And last one, the output is the organizational process asset. Yeah. Meaning that the uh, policies, lah, procedure. Yeah. That you need, uh, that uh, that produce, yeah. Uh, in the final stage of your, uh, project, All right. So I will stop this session here. Okay, we will continue in the next session, for the next slide. All right. So thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.